What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another Old School Wednesday review. Today we're actually taking a look at two adventurer sets from the jungle sub theme. The first one being the River Raft, that's set 5902. It has 19 pieces, one minifigure retailed for four and a half dollars US, and it came out in 1999. Now we'll also be taking a look at the pontoon plane, that's set 5925. It had 72 pieces, one minifigure, retailed for six US, and it came out in 1999 as well. These two sets fill me, fill me with nostalgia. Got a lot of great things to say about them, but we're gonna take a look at their positives and their negatives. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll actually begin by taking a look at the river raft. Give you guys a 360 view. And as you can see, it's very, very simple. There's not too, too much going on. It's just literally a raft, you get a paddle. But I just, I love the simplicity of this set and some of the pieces that you get in it are also really great. The minifigure is also awesome, which we'll take a look at in the minifigure segment. What I loved about this though, is they actually include a couple little awesome printed pieces. So the first one is this map. Now I do believe that this is somewhat exclusive to the adventure theme and it just looks great. What a good looking little printed piece. I'm not quite sure where North is cause it doesn't actually have a little North area, but you can tell that this is, I love the, you know, the little details on the side too, where it's like yellow, or I should say tan, green, red, blue, like they just put a lot of effort into these little printed pieces. The other one that you get is actually a dynamite piece. And nowadays, if you get a new set, they give you that molded dynamite, which is okay, but I actually really prefer this one. I believe the first theme that actually ever included them was the Wild West theme, but it makes sense why they have this piece also in the, in the adventurer theme just because they're kind of almost in the same era. This is probably about 50 years after Wild West, if you want to put it like that. Overall though, I really like this smaller little build. It's simple, but that's, that's sometimes part of the charm of a set is just the simplicity. Let's now take a look at the pontoon plane. And here we have the plane. Give you guys a 360 view of this one as well. As you can see, it's actually pretty sleek looking. It's hard to believe that this is over 20 years old, but yeah, overall, I really like the look of it. Love the fact that it has two of these big propellers on either side of it. Little area to carry his uh, pickaxe and shovel. And what's cool about it is if you actually can spin them like this, but if you blow on them, it also spins the propeller. So I did that a lot when I was a kid. I just thought that was a really cool little play. It's not a play feature, but it's just something the piece does. Getting a little bit more into the interior of the pontoon plane. It's nothing too crazy. It's literally just one of those joystick pieces along with the little seat. But what you can actually do is open this up to reveal a handgun and a dynamite. So I thought that was a nice little compartment. It also has two little builds on either side of it too, just because this is a pontoon plane. And I think it does a really good job basically representing that. I don't have too, too much more to say about it. It's just a good overall little plane, definitely worth six bucks back in the day. Crazy that they sold sets like this for only that much. Not that it would be too much nowadays, but you don't generally find a set at six bucks nowadays like this. That would probably equate to maybe like, I don't know, 10 bucks nowadays. If you factor in inflation, overall very nice looking little plane. Let's now take a look at the minifigures. And here we have the two minifigures that are included in both these sets. So we have Max Villano and Harry Kane. Whoever came up with these names 
is a dad and he loves dad jokes. That's part of the reason why I also love the adventure theme just because they have such ridiculous names. I mean, Harry Kane, Hurricane, kind of funny. And the detail on them is also great. Like check out this guy's torso, Max's torso with his dual pistols. Got a nice looking little scar on his right cheek. And he also has Johnny Thunder's hat, but it's in black, which I always thought was kind of cool. He does have hair under it, which is nice. And then Harry Kane, nice looking little jumpsuit, nothing too crazy. Give you guys a 360 view of these guys. They don't have any back face printing, back torso printing. That really wasn't a thing back in the 90s. You also get this awesome looking backpack that's kind of exclusive to the adventure theme almost. And you can actually fit a dynamite in there or a handgun, whatever you want to include. In my opinion, these are probably the best backpacks LEGO's ever made. They just work so well. And then give you guys a view of the front of them again. Overall, I love the story of these minifigures. I love the simplicity of them, but also the amount of detail. They're just the perfect mix. And uh, yeah, you'd be very hard pressed to improve on them. Especially all the nicknames. I mean, who doesn't love that? Anyways, that pretty well does the minifigures. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Personally, I think Pulpy sets are awesome. I really love the fact that they made these awesome little sets back in the late 90s, even in the, into the 2000s. Lego just put a lot of care into their smaller models. And I mean, this set's four bucks, this set's six bucks. They're worth a lot more nowadays, just in case you guys were wondering. I really hope that Lego returns to making sets like these in the future, just because it seems sometimes they don't put as much care or effort into the smaller sets. Whereas with these ones, I honestly have to say, they're pretty well perfect for their price point and how big they are and what they included. I mean, this one, you have all these awesome little exclusive, or not exclusive, but all these awesome pieces that the jungle theme gave us. You know, you don't have to buy a big set to get the map or to get a ruby or to get the backpack. Like, you, you know, you can get a lot of awesome adventure little pieces in a very small, cheap set. And then the pontoon plane, even though it's quite small, I absolutely love it. You know, the propellers, how they work. I remember playing with these a bunch when I was a kid, along with the little compartment where he can store his stuff. It's just an overall very nice looking little plane and it was $6. But let me know what you guys think about these two sets, if you like them, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on them. I just think for what they were, they were great. Like you'd be very hard pressed to improve on a set or on either of these sets at this size and this price point. But yeah, that pretty well does the video, but if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future old new sets we do on the channel. We do basically two or three of them every month. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy doing them. This is a perfect reason why Adventures is a top five theme for me. Just the builds are incredible. The story's awesome. The names of the characters is also hilarious. But yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.